हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड टाइम टू ऑल आई एम चंदन कुमार प्रधान वेलकम टू यूट्यूब चैनल चंदन फिजिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ऑप्टिकल रोटेशन एंड बायर्स लॉस ऑफ रोटेटोरी पोलराइजेशन लेट्स वेगेन व्हाट इज ऑप्टिकल रोटेशन इफ ए प्लेन पोलराइज लाइट इज अलाउड टू पास थ्रू सम सब्सटेंसेस then the direction of vibration of light emerging from the substances is not the same as that of that of incident light in fact the light passing through the substances have their plane of polarization which rotated by certain angle and this phenomenon is called optical activity what it says let's come to the experimental uh, setup if we consider on polarized light and that the on polarized light is passed through that of uh, nickel prism this is a nickel prism that the nickel prism act as a polarizer polarizer on polarized light is incident on that of polarizer arrowhead represents the components parallel to that of plane of paper dot represent the component perpendicular to that of plane of paper and it is split up into two rays one is e ray another one is o ray so the o ray is uh, absorbed by that of uh, surface that surface is made up of lamp black and only e ray passed through that of nickel prism that the e ray contain that plane polarization the component parallel to that of plane of that paper again i use another nickel prism which act as an analyzer means we taken that type of nickel prism to analyze that uh, polarized light and that nickel prism is placed that nickel prism as analyzer when that the plane polarized light this is plane polarized light pass through that of analyzer and that analyzer is placed this is the optic axis of that of polarizer and this one is the optic axis of that analyzer which is perpendicular to that of polarizer and that condition we called as crossed that analyzer is crossed to that of polarizer then here we see no light no light we observe at that position next when in between polarizer and analyzer we placed a substance example of uh, that type of substance here as quartz plate so what happened the nickel prism
अनपोलाराइज लाइट पास थ्रू दैट ऑफ निकल फ्री सीम ओनली दैट कंपोनेंट इमर्जेस फ्रॉम दैट ऑफ पोलराइजर हियर वी यूज ए क्वार्स प्लेट That is a quartz plate. Again, another nickel prism. Act. Then analyzer. Which is placed. perpendicular to the optic axis of that of polarizer due to the implementation of that of quartz plate quartz plate in between polarizer and analyzer the plane polarized light that emerges from that of polarizer now entered to that of quartz plate so the functioning of the quartz plate is that it is rotate that polarization the component of that polarization the vibration of such polarization through an angle so that the plane polarized light rotated to an angle this is rotated to an angle let theta the angle of rotation and pass through that of analyzer after that the light we see here light is absorbed that is plane polarized plane polarized so due to the implementation of that quartz plate we see plane polarized light after that analyzer and that substance which rotate that uh, polarized light into some angle the substance is called optical activity sorry that substance is called optically active substances the substances which have the ability to rotate the plane of vibration of polarized light are called optically active substances and that phenomenon here we observe is called optical activity optical optical activity so look here what it say when a plane polarized light is allowed to pass through some substances some substances in the sense the direction of vibration of light emerging from the substances is not same as that of the incident light in fact the light passing through these substances have their plane of polarization rotated by certain angle and that phenomenon is called optical activity it is rotated certain angle and that phenomenon is called optical activity and uh, those substances which have the ability to rotate the plane of vibration of polarized light is called optically active substances those substances which rotate that uh, plane of polarization is called optically active substances here the example of optically active substances quartz plate on that basis what be the rotation either it is clockwise or anti clockwise on that basis the optically active substances are categorized as further two in number one is right handed or dextro rotatory another one is left handed or levo rotatory so what is right handed or dextro rotatory uh, optically active substances 
the substances which rotate the plane of polarization of light along clockwise direction or towards right are called right handed or dextro rotatory substances. In the same way, the substances which rotate the plane of polarization in anti clockwise direction or towards the left are known as left handed or lever rotatory substances. The example of a right handed uh, optically active substance. is cane sugar. An example of left handed or liver rotatory optically active substance is fruit sugar. So, when that uh, plane of polarized light <coughs> <coughs> Pass to cane sugar, it is rotated it into right handed that is through that of clockwise direction. In the same time, when a plane of polarized light is passed through fruit sugar, then it is rotated it uh, to anti clockwise direction or towards left. On that basis, we categorize uh, optically active substance as left handed or dextro rotatory sorry left handed or lever rotatory right handed or dextro rotatory so here uh, we understand what is optically optical activity what is the phenomenon of optical activity what are optically active substances types of optically active substances as right handed or dextro rotatory left handed or lever rotatory by taking that example we clear the functioning of optically active substances and the phenomenon of optical activity. Next, laws to explain rotatory polarization. The scientist Bayot proposed his laws regarding rotatory polarization. Here the polarization occurs due to that of rotation the type of polarization we call rotatory polarization. The laws proposed by Byers, if theta be the angle of rotation that produced by optically active substances, theta be the angle of rotation that produced by optically active substances, that uh, angle of rotation is directly proportional, directly proportional to the length of that of substance which is traversed by light. The length that traversed by light through that of substance that is small l. So, according to that law, the angle of uh, rotation is directly proportional to the length l. Theta is directly proportional to l, whereas l is the length that traversed by that light through that of optical substance. Next law, <coughs> the amount of rotation theta produced in case of a solution is directly proportional to the concentration of that of solution. Let uh, concentration uh, represented by the letter C. For a solution, for a solution solution type of uh, optically active substance, the amount of rotation here we notice solution is directly proportional to the concentration of that of solution. The amount of rotation is directly proportional to the concentration of that of solution. In a solution that is uh, solvent plus solute if uh, the solute is more as comparison to another solution, then it is uh, said to be as concentrated one. So, that uh, concentration factor directly depend upon that of amount of rotation. 
नेक्स्ट तो अमाउंट ऑफ रोटेशन इज अप्रोक्सीमेटली प्रोपोर्शनल टू द इनवर्स स्क्वायर ऑफ वेव लेंथ वेव लेंथ लैम्डा सो द अमाउंट ऑफ रोटेशन थीटा इज इनवर्सली प्रोपोर्शनल टू द स्क्वायर ऑफ वेव लेंथ इफ वी सी फॉर रेड लाइट वेव लेंथ इज मोर दैट्स वाई द एंगल ऑफ रोटेशन विल बी स्मॉल फॉर भावलेट इट इज स्मॉल सो द एंगल ऑफ रोटेशन इज मोर सो द एंगल ऑफ रोटेशन डिपेंड अपॉन द वेव लेंथ ऑफ दैट ऑफ इंसिडेंट लाइट नेक्स्ट द अमाउंट ऑफ रोटेशन प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय ए नंबर ऑफ ऑप्टिकली एक्टिव सब्सटेंसेस इज इक्वल टू द आलजेब्रिक सम ऑफ इंडिविजुअल रोटेशंस इफ वी सी हियर वन क्वार्ज इज यूज इफ देयर विल बी ए नंबर ऑफ क्वार्ज आर यूज देन इज क्वार्ज हैविंग इट्स स्पेसिफिक ऑप्टिकल रोटेशन दैट्स वाई द टोटल ऑप्टिकल रोटेशन इज नथिंग बट द सम ऑफ इंडिविजुअल ऑप्टिकल रोटेशंस so we call it as equal to the algebraic sum of individual rotations if theta with the total optical rotation and theta 1 for first theta 2 second theta 3 third like that the total optical rotation is the sum of individual optical rotations and that uh, sign convention here we use if the rotation is clockwise sign convention sign convention if rotation is clockwise clockwise then we assume positive if rotation is anti clockwise then we assume negative so positive sign for clockwise negative sign for anti clockwise for clockwise rotation we use positive sign for anti clockwise rotation we use negative sign in this manner sign convention is used to add all such uh, optical rotations next point the amount of rotation depends on uh, the nature of the temperature <coughs> of that optically active substances what be the temperature that also depend to the what be the amount of rotation it will be so Uh, these are uh, some laws proposed by buyers regarding rotatory polarization how it is directly proportional to that of length that proportional to the concentration uh, inverse proportional to the square of that of uh, uh, wave length next uh, the total uh, uh, optical rotation in sum of individual optical rotations and finally uh, uh, it clarifies that uh, the amount of rotation depends upon the nature of the temperature of the optically active substance so here with the help of this video lecture we understand the concept of optical rotation as the phenomenon of optical activity optically active substances right handed or dextro rotatory left handed or lever rotatory by using uh, this scenario we clarifies what are uh, these uh, terms next uh, bias laws of uh, rotatory polarization the laws proposed by bias uh, regarding rotatory polarization so it is useful and to uh, informative notes let me wind up the session thank you